Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Um, it's been a little bit since I posted a video. Uh, I kind of was on a 10 day vacation, so just now getting back to the house and getting back into things. So kind of got settled back in so I can put this video together for you. Um, today, what I want to do is kind of just go over and review some of the issues and problems that I kind of see um, that I wanted to make you aware of uh, and kind of point out um, so you know exactly what to expect if you are going down the road of buying the, the SE4 slash Orbit launch monitor and or the uh, Orion software from OptiShot. So in this video, kind of it's going to have like three parts um, to it. Uh, the first part is we're going to kind of go through like the PC software requirements uh, in case you haven't looked into those just yet. Uh, two, I'm going to go through and kind of talk about side spin or the lack of side spin and kind of what that means with this device and the Orion software. We'll show a couple of uh, videos from the, the previous videos that I've done uh, just so that we can kind of really show you kind of like when you hit draws, when you hit fades, that kind of sort of thing. What does that kind of correlate to with the data? Uh, and then the third thing is I want to kind of talk more about the Orion software uh, specifically and kind of show you kind of what I found. It seems like the ball physics doesn't seem to be quite right. So we're going to show a couple examples of, of range videos um, and then show a couple of on course video examples. And then I've got kind of a spreadsheet that kind of breaks down and shows you between uh, the driving ranges on the Orion and the uh, Foresight driving range of the same shots, just kind of like what the difference is as far as like in the ball physics that's calculated in there. All right, so let's get into it. Uh, first thing that's up here is we're gonna talk about the PC uh, software requirements. So let's pull up that screenshot from OptiShot's website and we'll go through that real quick. All right, so look at these specs real quick. Um, it is only Windows, like this software isn't supported or run on Mac OS, so you can't run it on a Mac computer. Uh, they don't have a mobile app, so there's no uh, running on an iPad or on an Android um, device either. So you are going to have to start on a PC, running Windows. It looks like Windows 10 64-bit uh, is the minimum requirement with an Intel Core i5 quad-core processor. And then you're going to want a dedicated graphics card, uh, which is pretty standard for any of the Golf Sim software that's out there right now that's running on PC. Uh, the hard drive requirements are very low. It's only 6 gigabytes of disk space. Uh, RAM is really pretty typical low. I mean, 8 gigabytes is pretty standard. Um, it's going to need a Bluetooth connection to be able to connect to the launch monitor device. And then, obviously, internet so that you can download and install the software initially. But then also, if you want to continue to play in the online play modes and games that they have, you'll need that. But once you install the software, you can play all the course play and take advantage of the range and stuff and complete in offline mode. All right, so now we've got the PC requirements. Um, uh, I wanted to touch on the, the lack of side spin. Um, it's not just in the Orion software. Um, the device itself, the SC4 launch monitor, it, it does not uh, measure or have a measurement or calculation even for uh, side spin. So you're not gonna get any side ball movement. It's not gonna go left, it's not gonna go right. Uh, the only direction that you have with this launch monitor and inside of the, the Orion software is going to be uh, the launch direction the ball initially takes off. So, you know, if it reads it as a slight pull or a push or straight, then, then that's the ball flight that you're going to get. And I'm going to kind of show you that in a couple of examples here uh, and a couple of driver shots I hit in a previous video. We'll show you a big draw and we'll show you a, a big fade and just kind of show you the differences in the numbers. Um, between the two softwares because of that. All right, so this first shot here is going to be kind of a toe hook um, off to the left, pretty good draw. And so you can obviously see the shot shape in the top right corner on the Foresight software, whereas it just looks like a straight like pull to the left on the Orion software. All right, and we'll kind of freeze this right here just so we can kind of take a look at the data from, from both screens, but I mean, you can tell that the, the ball speed was pretty close. The launch angle was, was decently close. Um, the biggest differences you're going to see, and this is kind of why side spin is important, because on a draw, you're usually going to get more distance, and that's the case here. Like on the foresight side, this ball carried 283.9 versus you only got a carry of 263.1 in the Orbit software. And then if you look at kind of the rollout here as well, I got 318.9 total distance in the Foresight software, but only got 266.6 yards in the Orion software. All right, and here's shot two. This one's going to be a fade. We're going to start it left and kind of fade it back right. 
And so because we have started it left, you can see on the Foresight software and then cross back over the center line. But because of the initial launch angle on the Orion, it's just going to go straight left as a pull. All right, so we paused it here again so we get to take a look at the data. So you'll notice that the launch, uh, launch angle and ball speed are both really, really close between the two devices and the two softwares. Um, the discrepancy here is then the foresight, you're hitting a big fade, so you're going to take some energy out of that shot. So it's going to go, it's going to be more spinny, more backspin, and, and it's going to travel less distance. So just looking at the carry numbers here, I got 260.6 on the foresight and the GC2 versus 285.7 on the orbit, which just read it as a straight pull. And then orbit had it at 292.7 in total distance, so only about 7 yards of rollout, whereas I got 277.4 on the GC2 Foresight side, which would give me about almost 17 yards of rollout. All right, so now that we've kind of gone on our side spin, I want to kind of talk about the, the, the next kind of issue that I see as far as being realistic um, and in simulation play with this software, and that's kind of the lack of bounce and, and rollout on, on shots. I kind of pointed to it a little bit with the, the two driver shots that I hit and kind of shown you the distance um, as far as the bounce and the rollout that you get there, but I kind of wanted to show you a few more examples, um, a couple more shots from the driving range with uh, a wedge, and then we're going to also show you a couple shots that I have in uh, the course play videos that I've kind of posted that also kind of show you some unrealistic <laughs> ball physics, uh, I would say, as opposed to what you would experience in either other software or even realistically on the course. So, all right, let's take a look at those and we'll break those down real quick. All right, so here's shot one, um, pitch and wedge. It's just uh, kind of my standard, just little push draw right here. All right, so both of these are hitting into a fairway lie. So if we look real quickly at the orbit, it's saying I had 131 and a half yards of carry, but total distance was at 131 even. So that means that it actually backed up half a yard in a fairway lie. Just a little unrealistic to me. Because if you look at the foresight side, you've got 132.3 yards of carry and an additional 7.5 yards of rollout on the shot for a total distance of 139.8, which is what I would expect hitting a ball into a fairway line. You're going to get some bounce and some rollout. All right, here's shot two. It's kind of the same thing. This is a pitch and wedge. Uh, it starts a little bit further left, but still kind of with a little bit of a draw on it. back into that same fairway lie on both softwares. All right, so kind of like the last shot, you can see the same thing. In the Orbit software, we had 129.5 yards of carry. It backed up half a yard again, so a total distance of 129. Whereas on the Foresight side, we had a even 134 carry, but then we had an additional rollout of, of nine yards, basically, for a total distance of 143 yards. All right, so here's our first like kind of course play uh, clip, just to kind of show you the ball physics here. So we're 205 yards out, um, hitting a four-iron uh, into this green. Looks like it kind of slopes left to right towards the green, but just watch how this ball reacts once it hits this fairway. I mean, you would expect that to roll out onto the green and, and pretty close to the hole. So as you can see here in the, in the stats, like it carried 198.5, and then you got an additional yard, 1.4 yards of rollout on a four-iron shot that landed in the fairway. It just isn't very realistic, in my opinion. All right, here's a second shot, and it's kind of a, a chip, a flop shot, but just watch the ball physics and the reaction. It, it almost hits, like, comes out like a liner across the green and then just takes this unruly hop up into the air. So here on this flop shot, we had a launch angle of 24 degrees, a carry of only 17.2 yards, but yet somehow this ball rolls uphill and rolls out 52.4 yards. All right, so here's uh, the last clip that we have here just to kind of show this ball physics. It's a par three that's severely downhill, um, 174 yards. This ball is going to land next to the green that slopes severely back to the green in a fairway lie and that's all the rollout you get. All 
again, if you're playing like in real life on a course and it's really wet conditions, I could understand that ball maybe plugging and not going anywhere. But we're talking about it still bounced and kind of rolled out some, and you can see how sloped that fairway lie is behind the graphic there. And I only got basically almost half a yard, 0 0.6 of a yard of rollout after that ball popped out of there. In my mind, that ball easily should roll back onto the green. All right, so basically what I compiled here, um, I'm all of those driver uh, iron wedge videos that I, I recently did comparing the Orion against the my GC2 and the Foresight software, I went back and, and kind of looked at all of the basically carry distances and total distances on all of the shots, and then we just took an average of them. So, you know, like here with the pitching wedge, you know, I hit five shots. Um, we had an average rollout um, in the GC2 FSX software of 7.7 .7 yards on those shots, whereas the Orbit Orion actually showed, on average, the, the ball was backing up in the fairway. And then for the 7-iron, same thing. We hit five shots in that video. Averaging the data, I got a little over 13 yards per shot of, of rollout, and on the Orion, I got 1.2 yards. Uh, and then five shots with the 5-iron, as you can see, it's kind of almost close to the same here. We had 13.24 yards on average of rollout on the GC2 and 1.16 yards of rollout on the Orion. And then the driver, obviously going to be the biggest one. Uh, I think I had a total of 11 shots because I took out the one that I kind of um, I kind of hit a worm burner. So that's not in, in the averages here. But uh, basically I had almost 22 yards of bounce and rollout on those 11 that we averaged. And then on Orion, like literally three and a half yards of average rollout with driver into a fairway, a flat fairway line. All right, so that's going to kind of recap our demo for today. I, I just wanted to um, basically show you some things that I've kind of noticed that I think really impact uh, the simulation play and also the accuracy of the numbers that you get with this software uh, in this device. I uh, just want to put the information out there. So if you are somebody that's maybe on the fence, you're thinking about getting the device or getting the software, you know, you can kind of have more realistic expectations of, of what you're going to be dealing with if you if you go that route. If you are finding this content helpful, please uh, give the video a like. And then also, uh, if you're not subscribed, you know you can go ahead and subscribe up here. Uh, and then if if you want to watch more of this content, should have a video right over here for you. All right. Thank you guys again for watching and have a great day.